Miss Emma Benoit. Hey. Hey. I'm clearly nervous. So I'm probably gonna sound like I'm reading off of a script, because I am. Um, my name is Emma. Hi, <laughs> obviously. Um, I'm kind of congested right now from crying, clearly. Um, I'm 17, and a little over eight months ago, I attempted to take my own life. Um, I guess from the outside looking in, I had an ideally perfect life. My parents were together, you know, they loved me, they cared about me. I, w I like to think I was well liked by my friends and classmates. Um, I was a cheerleader. I was happy, outgoing, and always smiling on the outside. But what no one knew was I was fighting battles within. Anxiety and depression had taken over my life and I didn't even know it. I felt trapped and helpless. I thought that no one would understand my struggles. I was always ashamed of the way I felt. And I thought that if I opened up, people wouldn't look at me the same. So June 7th, was probably one of my darkers, dark, darkest days. No, it was my darkest day. Things got just too dark to where I, I couldn't even imagine a life anymore. I felt that there was no other way out. I knew my dad had a gun and I pulled the trigger. The first thing I felt emotionally was regret. As I sat, as I lied there, hearing the blood pour out of the back of my neck, the only thought going through my head was, oh my gosh, I do not want to die. Oh my gosh, I do not want to die. What did I just do? What did I just do? What did I just do? But on a hopeful note, I was safe that day. And now, thankfully and humbly, I'm fighting to live a happy and healthy life. I felt that having gone through everything that I went through and am still going through and struggling with, I felt like it would be, I would be doing a disservice to myself and everyone else um, by not sharing everything that happened. So I worked on a blog to just spread hope and awareness. And believe me, it's a lot easier to type than it is to speak. It's hard to say what I want to come out of it. I, I just, the one thing I'm certain of is I just know that if it saves at least one person or even helps one person to just stand up and be like, hey, look, that's me. You know, I have those feelings and I have those thoughts. And not to be ashamed of it, then it's worth it. So, y'all should check it out. It's liferejuvenated.org. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Be here tomorrow.